Next up, we're going to look at the rhythm section, uh, the drums. So bring up the mixer. I've chosen an ultra beat kit, and when you do that, just make sure it's a multi-output, not a stereo output, a multi-output kit. The reason why will become clear in a minute. So you double-click that ultra beat to bring it up. I've chosen the Paris House remix kit, because uh, it sounds a little bit like what Avicii does. Then I've replaced some of the samples, so I've imported different kits uh, by clicking the import button, then choosing different kits to import, and picked and chosen different sounds from each one of them and mixed and matched until I've got something that sounds vaguely like what Avicii does. Now the point of this tutorial isn't to exactly match his sound, it's to look at some of the overall techniques he use. So I haven't really gone into detail in perfectly matching it sonically, but you'll get an idea, get a feel for what he has to do, what he does to get a sound. So I've chosen this Paris House remix kit. I'm going to route the different drums out to different channels. Okay, so bear with me. In the output section of the Ultra Beat Mixer, I'm going to send the kick drums to 3, 4, the snares and clap sounds to 5, 6, and then the hi-hat sounds that we're going to use to 7, 8. Okay, so this is going to let us control each drum sound individually. Back out in the mixer, you'll notice at the bottom of the Ultra Beat, if you've chosen a multi-output, then you'll have this little plus symbol here. Okay, so click it three times, it'll create three auxiliary tracks. The first one you can name kick, the second one you can name claps, and the third one you can name HH for hi-hats. Okay, so the kick, the input is coming from Ultra Beat 3-4, so you remember back in the Ultra Beat we sent the kicks out to 3-4, then the snare is gonna be coming from, sorry, the claps are gonna be coming from 5-6, so all the claps I sent out to 5-6, and finally the hi-hats coming from 7-8, and you remember we sent the hi-hats out to 7-8. So when I play back the pattern I've programmed, you'll see the kick happening in the kick channel, the claps happening in the claps channel, and when the hi-hats come in a little bit later on, they're happening in the hi-hat channel. Okay, so them down very low, you can only see a little bit in the meter. The pattern is a classic four on the floor, just four kicks, one on each downbeat, so one on beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four, dum 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 dum, and then some little kind of clappy uh, sounds on beats two and four. So Avicii uses this lovely kind of uh, finger click sound, but I didn't get around to finding one of them. But anyway, I've got these claps here that should sound a little bit like it. So. Okay, I've also used a bit of reverb on this claps, just a gold verb. Uh, any one of the presets will do the job. We just need something to kind of fill out the sound a little bit. Okay, so the track begins with a pretty simple straight up beat throughout this whole intro section. So we've got the little synth. Working away. Then for the first build, the bigger kick comes through. Okay, so what I've done here is layered up two kicks. Um, this is fairly common practice. So we've got our first kick, the one that we had all along, quite a thin one. Um, I've EQ'd out some of the low end uh, within the Ultra Beat Mixer. So I'm looking at hard kick at the moment, and in the EQ section, I've turned on band one. It's a, a low shelf filter, and I'm pulling out about 11 dB at 68 hertz. So we've got a slope coming out here, it's cutting the bass. So you get this kind of hard attack for the initial kick. For the second kick, I've used this one. So this is from the Paris House Remix kit, the main kick it's called. And in this case, I've EQ'd out some of the high end because the first kick is already making up for that. So if you listen to one in isolation, okay, so that's the, the harsher kick, the more attack. And then this is the main kick. Okay, so this is kind of bringing in the low end. If you listen to the two of them together, you get this much fuller sound. Okay, I've also added in a phase oscillator on the main kick. 
So I'll turn this section on, and I've tuned it down to G sharp in octave zero. So it's a very low note, and it's just adding a bit of tone to the kick. So low note, just to this sort of bass sub note, to give it a bit of girth at the bottom. Okay, so as we go on, we add in some hi-hats, so they've, there's a bit of dynamic variation going on. Um, sorry, let's turn unsolo this. Okay, so a bit of dynamic variation. I haven't really gone into detail on getting the, the pattern perfect, but you can see some hi-hat notes are louder than others, particularly these, and then the ones on the downbeats, uh, sorry, the one on the first beat is weaker, and then the one on the upbeat is stronger. So 